No one's here, right? Man, I can totally see it now. Those idiots. I can't wait to see how surprised they look at their dumb faces. But I'll probably be happy about it. I'll probably be very, very happy. Alrighty! <laughs> Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Morning, huh? In the end, I was so worried about Fuyu Hiko that I couldn't sleep. Involving himself in Pekka's execution like that. Suffering all those wounds. Is he really going to live? Was it really okay leaving Monokuma's career or career care? Bleh. Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. But hey, that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing all day. This thing my Sith body has slowly sat up in bed. Guess you should head over to the restaurant. That's right. Just do it. You should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first. Then we'll question Monokuma afterwards. Definitely gotta find out if he goes safe or not. Welcome back to another episode of Mystery Mondays, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed that last one. Because, oh, fuck. As we can see on this display, we somehow missed a, a second Monokuma in each island so far. Who knows if the rest of the stuff <laughs> is going to be like that for the, the next three islands. But, you know, we'll just have to see the hotel. Anyone out here we can talk to specifically? Or is it just a bitch? Oh, hi, Sonia. How's it going? Good morning, Sonia. Huh? huh after me. Get back! Oh. Who do you think I am? I am sorry. Uh, that was unintentional. It is okay. Please be usual, yourself. Yeah, that was close. I'm really going to kneel before her. Um. I'm terribly sorry. I was so worried about Freehika that I couldn't sleep at all. That's really why my face looks terrible. I was just so embarrassed to be seen like this. I am ashamed. I should I go wash my face and come back one more time? Now then, ta-ta. She actually normally does, but just that well, Sonia and I worry about the same thing. Is Fuyu Hiko really okay? I am hoping so, because... Uh... Don't know about you, but I think that... Uh, that, that, that punishment last time was... Pretty goddamn impa impactful to me. Cause, oh shit. One who's in the lobby. Found someone in the lobby? Who could it be? Good morning, Chiaki. Yeah, good morning. You're up earlier than usual. Yeah, I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. Hmm. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have a slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Like she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by completely focus. On the game. Or is it just me? Maybe it's just me. Hotel restaurant. Hi, Hyoko. What, Hachibe, you're already here? Yoko, you're the only one here. What are you acting so anxious about? Hmm. I'm not acting anxious, I just happen to be here awake by coincidence. So I just came here early. I see. This girl, there's something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? What is she trying to do? Trying to interfere in our hotel outside? I thought she'd be arriving here soon. I should wait for a while. Like, what's going on? There's this over here. This does not seem normal. What the heck is this? The panel has been propped up. It's been giving a dreadful, unsettling vibe. A bunch of photos pass pieces all over it. Did Mahiro take these photos? Oh, are those. What's it? Is terrifying ambience. Yay! Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration! Um, I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort putting it into it to make their best. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's gonna be so happy too. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Hyoko, did you? Hello. Good morning, it's so rare to turn run into you two here. <laughs> what are you looking at? Huh. <laughs> what are these? These horrifying photos! I expected that reaction. Yo, what happened? You? What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Huh? Yo, what's all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> this is bad. Please take a look at those photos. Huh, photos. Whoa, what the heck? Hey, 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 hey! 
What kind of ominous crap is this? It's like something you use for sorcery. This is clearly an insult against my hero. I, I can't. I'm guessing we're getting like a closer look, but I can see that some of them are like important photos. Like there's, I think I see some of the beach ones on the bottom there. There's the photo with Mikani, Ruki, and Hyoko on the right bottom. Then there's the one with Akane eating all the food on top left. But you know, I might get a closer look soon. Damn it! I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they got a lot of nerve. Yeah, this is too much to actually treat my hero's photos like this. Oh, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good mom, girl. What the most nasty photos? Is they getting all the crazy, huge, ominous aura? Something like this. There is no excuse. This is too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just... Hey. I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're right. There's no way my hero would be happy with this. <laughs> she won't just be unhappy. Just she'll be so angry she'll cry tears of blood. Man, who the hell did this? No. No, we'll have to search for this criminal later. In the meantime, <laughs> fire! Stop the fire! I'll have a crap on fire so my hero can reach Nirvana. Seriously. Hold it. You can't. Someone took that time to make this memorial so we can mourn for my hero. You can't burn it. Huh? More and more, Evo. You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this turn disrespecting my hero. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why did you take a close look at the intent? Just said to focus on the appearances. Perhaps. Despite that clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. But look at it carefully. Don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? My hero is not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This is probably made with those feelings. Right? So I definitely think. Yep. Nice direction. I see. After hearing when you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You. You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to burn it. Huh? It cannot um, be. What's the person who made this? <laughs> <laughs> my hero was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. <laughs> she was really good at taking care of others. My hero is probably lonely by herself, so I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. Uh, Hyoko, you... I did want to make it look better, but well, unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. I'm sorry! I am sorry. I am terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Hyoko. I'm sorry. It's like a catchphrase or something. How should I put this? It looks like we were misunderstood. <laughs> now that I take a closer look, it doesn't look like you put a lot of thought into the directions. Or it looks like, even. For now. So let's keep this thing around until we get off the island, right? No. Now it should come with us when we get off this island, too. It would be a waste to leave such wonderful photos behind. <laughs> so we're not gonna burn it? Impossible. Of course not! We will never burn it! You. Weren't you the one who started shouting there? Fine, then I'll forgive you all. Except me, kind of course. Oh Why are you so strict with me? I see, I see. Man, it's so unexpected. Yeah. I really can't imagine Yoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who cares about that? <laughs> Yoko has a very kind heart. That's not it. Oh, come on, it's not like that. Jeez. Stop it already. <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it. Seriously, stop it, don't tease me. Aw, <laughs> oh, Yoko is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut the fuck up, you big face troll! <laughs> oh, I almost burnt because of that. Why only me? At any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Hmm, really? Feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. That's just like you guys. Well? Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason we can move forward. Without feeling despair towards the situation. Yep. Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. I have arrived. Apologies for the wait. What? What the? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? Impossible. Mm, Mattis clings to my hero even after her death. Well, uh, we'll be sucked in if you look directly at it. You're the worst. Wow, this is a very hopeless object. It doesn't belong in a hopeless place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. <laughs> Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for even one more second. Stand aside! I'll set up this barbaric flask for his foul side of the pieces! <laughs> no, 
now that those two are here. Do you still think we're splendid? Looks like it's gonna take a little more time. I completely agree! Seeing the body in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh, but at least it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize just how short lived this peace would be. Even though we were finally bonding, the situation was brewing like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and treacherous incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. Oh, we get to explore chapter 3! Trapped by the ocean scent! Looks like I've got a theater in our midst. Or cinema, even. <laughs> I know, it's cinema, shut up. Gee, I'm stuck, I couldn't even have a damn bite! Hey. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? Yo. I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait, what about Fuego? Um. Is he really alright? I was so, so concerned I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, is his fate as Monokuma's paws. I'm even more concerned. If only I could have tended to his wounds somehow. I, I wish I wasn't so useless. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. No. Hey, hey. <laughs> I noticed that. There was some encoding overloaded. Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? Right. Now then, I got a belly full of food. I'm all set. So... You play the rest of me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge for Ico. Avenge? He's not even dead. Jeez. What vengeance? You'll just have to wait to test your skill. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> she flat out admitted it. Hello. Okay, everyone, can I have your attention, please? Oh, it's you, Monami. What do you want? Jeez. Man, the fun mood's over now, thanks to you. Yeah. Huh? Did I just ruin the mood? <laughs> she stopped keeping so harsh. I did my very best today, you know? <laughs> hey, who the hell are you? We were talking about. Wait, what? We were talking about something important, so go away. Who the hell? That, that still makes sense. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, no, I definitely want to be treated like an outsider. Just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Ah, uh, you finally asked me. Well, once again, I defeated another Mana Beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you defeated a Mana Beast, that means... That's right, you are now able to visit yet another island. So let us all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving the island. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Well, maybe you now I'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No, that's not the only thing we have. That's a one and only hope. Huh? Are you guys thinking about leaving the island even though I just said not to? Do you have a minute? More importantly, come on to me. What happened to Fuyuhiko? Huh? Fuyuhiko? Um, um, you see, I don't really know. Miss Sonya, can't you see it's just a waste of time they're asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You're also part of that mysterious world and our organization, aren't you? Hey. That's the organization of Arthur's Island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, that's gotta be it. Hey. Yeah, I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? This is a great opportunity. It's time you finally fill this in. <gasps> oh, what a dilemma. That's the one thing I can't say. Bye -bye. Surely this is the tragedy of middle management. Hold on a sec. She ran away again. She's like this when she get things get inconvenient for her. Well. Oh well, who cares about Monoli? More importantly, <laughs> she mentioned a new island. What should we do? However, I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyukiko is in danger. <laughs> but we must move forward, no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. Jeez, you're seriously as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried of Fuyukiko, but it's really okay if we just stay here and do nothing. Isn't it better if we do what we can? What we can, huh? She's right. Let's try to find a way off this island before he comes back. You are right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Miss Sonya. Of course right. you would. And it's decided. Let's explore and search for a new home. Wait. Um, I don't think we'll be able to find it. Actually, we have a cinema, so I could be wrong. <laughs> so wouldn't it be faster to just beat up the rest of the Mana Beasts and search all the islands in one go? Leave it to me. That strange looking rabbit can defeat one. It should be easy for us too. Hold on. Hey, don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope-filled future in our very own hands. And then we she shove her. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wanted us to do. In order to prepare for the exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. As one would do, we take our adventure over. Have a really awkward, like, way to hold the controller because I feel like doing it. Um, I don't want to investigate my house right now because there's nothing there. Don't know why I wanted to investigate the house anyway, so let's keep moving on. Actually, did I see someone in 
the corner of my eye. No, I didn't. I guess I was just hallucinating things. Pet. Snake of me. She's almost growing a little bit more. Oh, my, my poor little pet monster is gonna be very deftly at the end of this, or maybe not. You don't know yet. Central Island. Let's do the long sprint over here, because it seems like the best thing. So uh, if you want any like background details on this project or what have you, uh, I've started to record two episodes in a session, as bad as an idea it seems, but I feel like it would be a, a good idea to do that because it'll get me more of a backlog for these videos. But you know, it shouldn't really matter because by the time you see this episode, it would have been actually put out. But yeah, details. The monomy was right. The monomy that was blocking this bridge is gone. Then if we cross the bridge, we should reach a new island. With a feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear of nervousness, I felt I crossed the bridge to lead to the new island. What is this place? Oh man. This is the third island. The ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. The residents and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. And not just that, there's definitely no sign of any people here either. It feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. However, there is a Titty Island. Or a, a building named Titty. Oh, there's a hospital! Let's check it out. Please. Oh my, we got multiple layers. It's a lobby. Looks like this is the hospital's lobby. Which is exactly why we're not into the game. There we go. The ambience feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. Holy shit! I'm sorry I scared you. But don't worry, even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, that's the hospital after all. And when I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought, here too. Damn it, there's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? I notice all the medical supplies are still here though. I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check them. Ah, that means I need to go check them, right? Understood, I'll go ahead and do that in the flash room. Please don't hate me. The can't find just being ran into the other end of the dark hole and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. Guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? Gundam, what are you doing here? <laughs> While people I've seen, I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? I have said too much. Forget what you heard, for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information, and now he's already telling me to forget it! What an Egypt! Where is- Oh, there's a hospital hallway. Can we enter this? Patient room, consultation room, beyond this point, right? Oh, it's fine if it even to be can't. Okay, so... Just to be sure, take a little look around, there's nothing here, alright. So I can't see a monochroma anywhere. Uh, there was one on the, the pinball, but I don't know what I'm looking for. It's a new island, like, different shapes, what have you. What else is around this island? Looks like we're in San Diego. Oh my, the music venue! That's quite the music venue name, am I right? It's the Titty Typhoon! <laughs> this building, with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights, obviously looks suspicious. Can't, be sure. Can't say for sure, there's no danger. Of course, you should check what's inside. What's inside the Titty Typhoon? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> music venue. It doesn't have the balls to say it in text. What the? Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. The trip is so overwhelming that I can't help shouting out! Oh, this is a music venue, right? Yeah, looks like it. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. Oh, did I just say that twice? Oh, did I just say that twice? Are you okay? Give me up a weird vibe. Not at all, I'm totally fine. Not at all, I'm totally fine. Ha, oh, did I just say that twice again? Ha, oh, did I just say that twice again? You don't look very okay. Is she speaking to a microphone? Man, with any like a Boogie has no choice but to lend a helping hand. This is just the beginning. I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. It's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an average metaphor that no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time I don't understand. Oh well, if you're really taking a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. Leave it to me, like, let me bite you. Sorry, I should really go check out another place. Please, don't bite me. That's not important. Oh, there's a monitor. I thought I was going to check the uh, the bottle that's on the side there, but I guess this is a place. Amazing. 
What a splendid place, Hajime. This must be the fabled disco. Disco? It's where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes they dance their go-go's and lambadas. I have no clue what she's talking about. If you say so, madam. Let's just leave it as... Oh, the stage. Alright, let's look at the stage. It's a stage! I'll probably never have a chance to be in limelight. Uh, says the protag, but storage room. It says staff only in the door. Probably some sort of storage room. Might as well check inside. This seems like an important room. So might as well look in here now. Wow, look at this place. Why do all these places have storage rooms or closets? Got well, different instruments here, including drum sets and guitars. Looks like there's some stage design stuff too. Paint, stage lights, wallpapers, and curtains. There's nothing special here we need right now. Sticker? A lot of stickers in the venue's logo placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. I feel somewhat depressing. Anything important? Oh, there's a full length mirror. You can see your whole body in this huge full length mirror. It's probably used for chicken costumes. The mirror just makes it easy to check how you look. Why do I have a feeling that this mirror is going to be important? Uh, let's just leave everything here and just have the mirror be the mirror, alright? We need to investigate more of this island anyway. No matter how much like the aesthetic of the Tilly ty ty Typhoon, even. <laughs> the tongue tied Tilly Typhoon. Typhlosion. Alright. Back out. I would like to go to Third Island. But at least it gives you the idea to, or the option to go in further in with the B button. That That's helpful. But there's a motel here. Motel air conditioned vacancy. That's quite a weird name for a hotel. Oh, now it's reversed. Oh, hi, Hiyoko. It's a small building with guest accommodation in the parking lot. It's supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. <laughs> Why, well, I've got a rundown hotel. It looks pretty unsanitary, too. Just like Hajime's house. You've never seen my house. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were here. You didn't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? But we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible that there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing? Hey. You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying. Praise a fool and you may make it useful. What's that supposed to mean? No. Akade was checking out the inside, and after I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. Don't mess that girl is pretty aware, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. If the wrong attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. Well, you know, what's this car doing here? Run down rusted rotting car, someone abandons. Maybe you'll start if you keep staring at it. Okay, so we can't leave via that car. Makes sense, but still. It's a bunch of similar looking private rooms. The inside is probably the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty. There's no doubt the room like this would be perfect in the crime movie. If it's just to save the night, the cottage is good enough. Anything else? Okay, I guess there's nothing important. Alright, we can leave. Oh boy, this island looks pretty crazy, if I do say so myself. We'll just jaunt along to the side here and... There's an electric avenue? Are we gonna walk home to electric avenue? Is that what we're doing? It seems like it. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances in the background of narrow hallway. Machines and other parts cluttered together on display it definitely seems fishy. But wait! There's more! For this many machines you probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. Oh hi, Chiaki. Uh, oh hi, Kazuichi. Yes, I knew it was suspicious. Oh my. Mexicumas for this next chapter, I guess. Alright. Soda, what did you find? Are you serious? Ah, are you shitting me? What happened? I thought you'd be happy about surrounded by so much machinery. That's a stupid thing. I'm the other mechanic, you know? Of course I'm happy to be surrounded by machines. Hey, you should look happier. Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. I have this unexplainable conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that kind of feeling, but why do you feel so conflicted? Huh? There's a lot of machinery lined up here. Hot damn, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them and look inside. That's how we should think, right? Oh, but I know now's not the time for me to do something like that. That's why I feel so conflicted. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Huh? Hell yeah, it's like if you have to hot for a chick, you want to take off her clothes, right? You want to check out her bone structure, right? <laughs> like her ribs will wear parts of her bones to count, right? That's not normal, that's a pretty acrobatic six <laughs> You serious? Uh... I see, so wanting a chick's bone structure makes me a little <laughs> perverted. Pretty much. I understand now. Voyeur quarter. What is this? There are so many machines. Just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used for. 
I don't really recommend that section. What do you mean? Well, I'm pretty sure I'm just ready to get you. All that stuff is. All machines use stuff like wiretapping or recording secret videos. Seems important. Some ancient looking surveillance cameras, too. Machines use it for recording secret videos? Oh, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, alright? No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, we're both constantly videotaping and wiretapping on camera, right? I'm like, can't just because what does he see when he's watching Miss Sonia? He says he's never used these before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who eventually use them. Whatever he says. Television corner! There's a lot of CRTs up there. They look really old. Look like they're not designed for terrestrial digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. It's like TV signals were quick reaching here anyway. Ah, that's inconvenient. Laptop corner! That's what I'm using right now! Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a deliberate, disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. They're a little old fashioned and run down, they all look like they could be used. I know if we connect to the internet, you might be able to call for help with these. Because I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. <laughs> Try to see if it will connect to the internet. It's no use, looks like it's not connecting. Well, it's not going to be that easy. But just when I was about to give up, my eyes are a strange icon arranged on the desktop. Usami X file. What is this? Well, I think I could change your name icon. Document file based on the format looks like a. Is that what you said? I scan across the words to fade on the screen. But the biggest, most awful tragic event in human history. Where this event originated, but some students opposed to the academy causing a revolt. Style and reserve departments were dissatisfied with it being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus and the hopes were high that it would settle down someday, but things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority exerting an influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous acts of terrorism or coup d'etat, though it seemed to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to the subversive moment. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized, it's both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subversive moment of full of despair. Host Academy began the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to their long history. I'm gonna go back in editing and take all those missing letters, they might be important. Okay, I guess not. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair. It's not use the words too garbled to read beyond this point. What is this? Hmm, how normal. It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction, it's actually quite normal. Hey, can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be? Were you the one who created this file? This? My, my, what makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, tragic event in human history? Riots in various parts of the world? And host of the Academy getting destroyed? It sounds like something stupid you'd make up! And? And? What's host of Academy Reserve Department? I've never even heard of that before. Huh? Really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. What do you mean? I guess you forgot about it, along with the memories of your school life, so it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that file says something about students who survived. Is that, is it referring to us? And then the rest of that file is... Hey, hey, hey. Hold on a sec, you guys! Hey, hey. Just, what the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make sense. Hmm. Movies with no image, music with no sound, novels with no word. These are things that truly don't make any sense. You so you can't say something this simple, it doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? I wouldn't know an important story like that, because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. Damn it, he ran away again. Uh, hey, Hajime. Don't worry, it's gotta be fine. I'm sure I'll be taking all that up. That's it, that's definitely it. You know, it's all about the number of students that survived. It'll make sense if you play DR1, if you know what I'm thinking of, but the fact that we haven't seen a number of students that survived is an important one. That'll make sense whether it's referring to DR1 students or DR2 students. But let's keep moving on. There's a lot of electric appliances in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. All oh, these look old. Do they even still work? And over here we have the cell phone corner. Flip. So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get reception. People with all this variety. They may as well be paperweights. So, nothing. Chiaki, what have you found? Somehow, it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electrical appliances. Chucky, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah, I was wondering if there are any game consoles in here. Something times old hardware sheet like junk. 
I'm looking for a... How do you say? A Neo Geo? Maybe there's one on this island? I don't know. Oh, so that's what you're doing. I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll let me carry back to your cottage. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. No oh, video games. They aren't harmful. They can't do anything. Trust me. I've been playing this game for how long now? And Oh yeah, that second trial ending. Uh... Uh, hey, distraction, movie theater! Wild Gum and Monokuma. What was that other poster say? Oh, I guess I couldn't see the other poster. But. Oh, look, it's that poster again. <laughs> We're currently showing right now. So please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Showing, what does this mean? Why are you always just for show? Let's look around, it's the movie theater, right? Then I'm obviously showing a movie. This is gonna be the motive. We're gonna watch a movie that's gonna be the motive. I know this because it's an inkling I have. Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say this next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. I'm definitely not going to watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm not going to see it. My goodness, and I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm gonna be sad. I'm sure your movie's no different than the game you made. No, that game was a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Yeah, there was no way to even check the transcript in that game. Like, goddamn. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. On this island, my word is law! I don't watch it. What are you gonna do about it? The There's no way it allows it to wreck this behavior. There's no way it allow it, but... What are you gonna do? I'll forgive you for the Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker? Nice to see him just here. Which one's the real one? <laughs> Oof. But that was worth a lot of stuff. But, you know, at this point I should even check on the pet, just to be sure. Yeah, that was some shit, but... Just clean that up, it's fine. What is this poster? I know what it is, but still. It's a video game poster. Hmm, looks interesting. I'm definitely gonna buy that. That was different from what you were saying earlier, wasn't it, Hajime? The goods corner. Look at that stupid. I'm sorry I was born stupid. There's some strange goods on top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth. Decal of Monoe's face on it. If they catch your eyes, an all-purpose tote bag used for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item, only one person can have it. By the way, apparently tote bags are originally invented to carry around ice. So how about it? Wanna buy it? I'll pass. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'd just be up front with you. Cut a lot of quarters making that thing. That's too up front. Is this the sticker you were talking about? I'm sorry, I was born stupid. It's not funny, I don't understand its purpose. How half fast is this? To tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a wandering miracle working priest. And it could be yours for the special price of only 1.5 million dollars. 1.5 billion dollars? Can I just pay for that in yen? Don't mess with me, I don't need that kind of money. Then you can pay me back when you get off the island. If you don't like it, you can always just watch my... Fine, I'll pay it. Whoa, I'm surprised! He doesn't believe me, by the way. As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything, even 1.5 million. You're the first person to ever pick 1.5 million dollars for this sticker. You know, but you really don't want to watch my movie. Uh, that makes me a sad Monokuma. <laughs> Is that a South Park reference? It better be. But if I'm gonna make a huge profit, it's okay! I'm a mascot, though. it's a hobby of counting money after all. You're the worst mascot ever. Here. Come on, take it, thief! And slap it on your forehead, thief! Take advantage of this divine opportunity, thief! And that's a Legend of Zelda reference. That's, I think that's Link's Awakening if you steal a line from the shop, everyone refers to as Sheep Thief for the rest of the game. I think I see if it's even better and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. Whoa there, looks like the show is over. Alrighty, I gotta collect those questionnaires. And I remember Monokuma started humming and skipped away towards the door leading to the theater. Slam. The door opened violently and one person appeared from within. What were you watching? I can do it. Please answer my questionnaire. Jeez. Doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring, it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks when I was watching it. Hmm. Um. Yes. Well, I guess that was uh, what art is. It, because it's not really art unless it's a past common sense. I thought it was going to be another motive. But I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. Money would have settled this. I should have just settled with money. Nagido is depressed. The movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. 
Oh my, my my, my my to you. <sighs> I'm so tired from boredom. Money would have gotten me out of seeing it. I should have just set up with the money. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay $1.5 million and not watch that movie, That's I'd gladly pay it. Quick answer. That movie must have been that bad, huh? Well, at least he said it truthfully. Shit. Um, well, Hajime, after not getting this glowing review, did you change your mind about watching that movie? Of course not. What are you, stupid? The food corner, at least you can get some poppy corn. It's a food shop. A lot of things like popcorn, sandwiches, and drinks are all arranged here. Hooray for that. So let's leave. Apparently you can watch Monokuba's specially made movie. I've heard the content is just terrible. Death watches that bought the sticker, but it costs one five million dollars. Maybe I was too hasty. Oh, so you're forcing me to watch the movie then. Oh, they're at the outside over there. Alright. I guess I was wrong. With the wrong door. Please wait. Hajime, over there. Please hold on. Sonya, did something happen? Well? Yes, now. I went to the hospital and PSP can made a very serious discovery at the hospital. Very serious discovery at the hospital? It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? See? It's the same as if I turned around he's there, but also remember that person in the wind. What are you talking about? Jeez, are you so unrefined as Japanese legendary magical drama? That person in the wind had in 1984, so the standard for every trendy drama has followed. Well? It's about a righteous rookie doctor and elite senior doctors. I don't have mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Hold on, why do you know so much about all Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> you're not Japanese, you're in English. We'll be waiting at the patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. Patient's room at the back of the first floor? I don't really understand. Might as well head over to the hospital. I didn't get a chance to read the other poster, goddammit. There. You're late, Hajime. Looks like you're the last one. Well, screw you! Are the others already here? Yep. Our patient room's lying in the hallway. But everyone has apparently gathered the room in the very back. You're not going with them? <laughs> Miss Sonya, it's exciting from the Ultimate Princess. She coldly asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of his common fault. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know my place. I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. This is going to be such a touching scene. A worthless thing like me it would just, a new just be a nuisance, right? A touching scene? I... Hajime, I'm jealous of you. Jealous? Why are you jealous of me? Hey. You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress, and you're even opening up to everyone. Great. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? Well. Nope, not at all. Mm. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you've dragged it out for this long already, I'm sure it must be appropriately mag magnificent talent. Who knows? It's not like my fault or dragging us out, you know? You're right. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stepping, stopping you in such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please, go on ahead. Take care. After all that, what did you really want to say to me? The words, uh, that's this bulletin I didn't check before. Paper on the bulletin board, apparently to help hospital notice. There's no one on the island, too, what's this word is written for? Seems eerily convenient. What's down the hallway? Let's find out. Oh, it's another location that we can walk around in. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you guys doing? How about you stop that, alright? Okay. What are they? Those are aliens. Heaven? That's not heaven, that's a spiritual monokuma. Huh? Are you serious? A little bit. But that's... Weird. I guess it's this one, patient's room, room 4 even. I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're already here, but... Who are they? What are they doing here? I feel something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. And I was on the floor to walk the dinosaur. Huh? Couldn't help raising my voice. What? You all look like you've seen a ghost. Hiko, are you alright? <laughs> it's just a scratch. Just a flesh wound. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Huh. He's a set piece, apparently. Um, Earlier, I asked Monokuma and he showed me his medical records. There are a lot of sore related wounds, predictably enough, but they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Dog? Dog? Stay there, it's fine. Don't worry about this, I'm sorry about that. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> You're a ballsy one. Is this what you call having the devil's luck? Is that so? 
know. Who knows? Maybe it wasn't that. Well, maybe Pekka gave her life to protect Fuyuhiko. Are you serious? She protected him while he was getting attacked by the horde of marionettes. But still, well, if she really wanted to protect Fuyuhiko at all costs, she'd have four app updates available. It's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. You. You think so too, right, Fuyuhiko? That must have been what he thought. There's no way you could die, right? Who knows? After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned into his bad be bed away from us and stopped talking. Um. I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he overexerted himself. <laughs> no need to worry, I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. Now then. Hear that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me. I'll be the one who avenges you! That's obviously wrong. Seriously, he's not dead. Um, um, you shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on! I got it! Fuyuhiko has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. No. I know that. I just have to win, right? This is bad. She doesn't understand at all. Then... <laughs> do whatever you want. Hey, Nekomaru! <laughs> You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind's made up. I know it all too well. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However, I'm never going to do it to you again. Huh? It? Uh, Please keep your voices down. You're the loudest one here. Hey. Wait a sec. Nakamaru. It was my first time. I never thought that something that feels so good even existed in this world. My body said I wasn't forgotten. And now you're saying you're just going to stop all of a sudden? Look, my body's getting all hot again just thinking about it. Hey, hey. hey you're kidding me. Is it what I think it is? Huh? If you're not going to hear my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. He taught her how to shit properly. As he spat those words, Nekomaru left the patient's room. Wait. Hold on, I can't live without it. The voice that sounded like it wanted to cling onto Nekomaru. I can't even rush out the patient's room. Oh my. I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> you, it's finally quiet. It's such a bad man to raise your voice inside the hospital. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hiyoko. Huh. It's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's playing really hard for Iiko. I guess it makes sense. Iiko is the one who got married and killed by Pekka. And Hiyoko was nearly framed as her killer. Yeah, it's not like she's just going to get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? Right? Like, no matter what, it means it, right? He's still talking about it. Hey, hey, hey. Suspicious! It's definitely suspicious! All we gotta do is follow them. You think so too, right? Fire oh, doesn't need to be started. It's become a towering inferno. <sighs> I... I mean... I'm not gonna say that I wasn't thinking it, but I think my conclusion was more sound. Now I have some peace of mind. I'm getting sleepy. I should get home for today. Same here. All that walking just wore me out. Sleepy. Yes, yeah, so, so let's go home. Let's go home and get some sleep. She fell asleep while she was talking. How tired is she? So what should we do? Should I just want to call it quits for today? We can talk about it tomorrow. I know we're all tired from all this walking we've done today. Um, please leave Fuyuhiko to me. I'll make sure he's nursed back to health. I'll, I'll do my very best to nurse him back to health so I won't be hated. She's still glaring. Oh, Hiyoko. For now, we decided to call it a day and headed back to our cottages. Walking around all day wore us out. But the exhaustion we felt might have also been the feeling relief. I arrived at my cottage much earlier than usual, and fell into a deep, deep sleep. Monica with theater. What are you thinking? Huh? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes they have to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? They immediately attack people in groups because they don't have many friends themselves, you know? They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad, and I won't forgive you, and laugh, you know? They're lazy people who run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? They're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting someone who's alone or unarmed, you know? They're always the winner, so they're like, don't know what it's like to have weak worries, you know? And they like to wear flashy costumes, you know? Which means they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn leaders who don't have any friends. Emergency! Emergency! Do you really want to admire people like that? Ding. Ding. Bing, bing. Look at those Mexicans. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be...
gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! All today. I at least found the second Monokuma, but I missed the third! Am I gonna miss one every case? God damn. Phew. It's been a while since I've stepped a lot. My head feels clearer thanks to that. Right, head over to the restaurant. Just the standard thing that everyone needs to do. Just walk their steps over to the maps. Oh, hi, Mikan. Good morning, Mikan. Hello. Uh, Hajime, good, good morning. Um, it's almost time to meet with everyone at the, the restaurant, right? Yeah, I was about to go as well. I'm so glad. I wanted to check on Fuhiko, so I thought it was late. I see, you're so busy this morning. Not at all. I'm already used to situations like this anyway. How's Fuhiko doing? Well, it might not be better to ask you at the restaurant when everyone's together. I understand, and I shall go on ahead. I guess I should go to the restaurant. Seems obvious enough to go to the restaurant. You know, it's the place to be. Hi, Nekomaru. You gonna explain anything or not? Yo, Nekomaru. Your voice is too soft. Project your voice more from your stomach. Jeez, you have to be like this in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right, now your voice will reach the sun. Oh. And to other part of my room, Echo. You're right, I'm sure they heard it. Huh? I'm just a mere team manager, therefore I don't know anything about art. However, when I saw my hero's photos for the first time, my vulgar heart was greatly shaken. Truly, that is a splendid thing. It's a pity what happened to Namaru, but I will never forget how she taught me the value of art. Yeah, I'll never forget it either. Oh man, teaching things. But hey, Akane and Sayonji are out here right now, so let's speak! Yo, Yo Hachibe! Hey, good morning! Hey. No, you look better than usual. Everyone I've met liked it, too. Did you something happen? Well, I thought you go safe. That's probably why. <laughs> I don't know why, but I also feel like I can't eat more delicious food than usual. Right. Speaking of which, why don't I change my limits? I gotta eat everything in the restaurant. Even though she's not aware of it, Akane definitely looks hairy. And are you right, Hyoka? Jeez. Doesn't it feel like we're forced to meet up at the restaurant every morning? There's something I need to find at the supermarket today. Something to find? Want me to help you? Hmm. It's fine. I'm just gonna look for a camera. I'll probably find it really fast. I have a camera. Well, it's actually a, a toy camera. That's weird. Huh, really? Um, mm, if that's the case, I probably need you a real photographer anyway. What are you planning? Hey, you. hey Hajime, I have a favor to ask you. I guess I'll listen to what you have to say. Hey, hey. Cut the music when you right after breakfast. Bring a camera, too. You got some free time, right? That's okay, right? What should I do? Yeah. <laughs> I don't just like anyone who knows their place. Then it's a promise, you definitely have to come! Somehow I ended up making a promise, but this is really okay. Perhaps she doesn't let me do anything weird. Uh, I didn't want to say I don't have free time because anything could have happened otherwise, and, that, and she's been through a lot. And the usual suspects are here. Unless there's more that I didn't see. Nope, it's the usual suspects. Except because she's still here too. Good morning. What happened? You don't sound that excited! Kazuichi's playing that arcade machine over there. You could just play it together. Hmm. hmm. I played one match with him early. He told me to give me all my all, so I didn't. I got yelled at for winning a flawless victory. So now I was charged just playing seriously against an amateur. Kazuichi. What which one's more tired? <laughs> what about it, dude? Yo, Yo Hajime, how are you? You playing the games? It's right to see you playing games. Mm. Yeah, well, Chiaki's always into playing it, right? I couldn't help noticing. So she's letting me play for a while. Hey, hey. It's not like this is my machine. There's no reason for me to give you permission. Mm. You say that, but you're like the queen of the arcade machine. Think so? Really? You serious? You're not aware of that at all? Uh, well, after getting beaten up in the previous match, I'll definitely return the favor. Nope. You don't have to return the favor. What do you say? You say you just have to stay a loser? <laughs> then let me tell you this. You definitely catch this top topic's bait. You want to listen, right? 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 I just really want to say it. Mm. Then what is it? Right. <laughs> listen to be amazed. There's a street on the third island with lots of busted machines, right? I found a portable game console thing in the junk over there. <laughs> huh? Really? Is that true? <laughs> See, what did I tell you? You totally took the bait. Mm. But still, it looks like this is out of order. Aww. Oh, how useless. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, hold on. What do you think I am? I'll definitely fix it up till it looks like it's like brand new. <laughs> then when it's all fixed, I'll give it to you. Mm. Then I'll wait, but I won't look forward to it. Probably. <laughs> probably. Look forward to it. Otherwise, I'll be sad, you know? Just watch. I'll completely fix it up. And I'll make you say thank you with tears running down your face. Isn't this the tent kind of off? Ah. Stairs. My favorite person in the world. We have breakfast to attend to, so let's do it. Everybody! Please, everyone who gathered at the restaurant all looks somewhat lighthearted. 
everyone must be really happy that Fujiko's safe. Then... Um, the day ended halfway yesterday, so let's try to put together information about the new I island. Jeez. In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape the island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. Yes. But there's a music venue! I, see. I got there, but what about the clues that we really need? Clues like information about this island, or anything that might help us understand what's happening to us. <laughs> In the town of all those machines, I found a clue containing within the file in one of the laptops. You saw that too? Um, I was told about that by Nagato, so I checked it as well. This too must be the I saw it too. I also, it's also about the fact that Hosting Academy has already been destroyed. Ah! Yeah. Oh, Hosting Academy has been destroyed? Wow. So I'm just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hosting Academy would fall. Well, there's that ruins then the second island, man. But even if it is a prank, it's not something you shouldn't be allowed to do. Yeah. A symbol of hope getting destroyed. It's not like something you should even joke about. <laughs> well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if you just confirm it for yourself. <laughs> if I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. How so basically, on the island we found a way to escape. Nor any useful clues this time around. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. <laughs> you don't have to correct us each time. <laughs> However, it is not all bad news. Fuyiko will be able to return to us. <laughs> that guy pisses me off, but I'm sure it makes me happy to think that he's gonna come back to us. He's recovering extremely well, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in one week. However, he's probably lost the use of his right eye forever. He totally deserves that. No, he doesn't! <laughs> hey, aren't you going a little too far? Man, I sure did eat! I'm stuffed today, too! <laughs> you certainly eat a lot, without even listening to what the others are saying. Um... Okay, that's it. I'm stuffed. I should go train now. Train, you say? You hate training, how rare of you? Yo. If I don't do it, I will get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. Oh my my. She's like really pumped up. Huh? I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. With that, our morning meeting ended and we all went back to our cottages. Except for me. You know why? I'm supposed to be Hyoko now. What does she want me to do with a camera at this music venue? I think I brought a camera. Do I even have a camera or do I give me one? Oh hi, Shaki. Hey, Hiyoko, I'm here. Jeez. You're late, Hajime! Oh my my! My, my, if it isn't Hajime, what's up? Huh, Ibuki and Chiaki too? Why are you guys? <gasps> uh, could it be? Does the cameraman mean you, Hajime? Cameraman? Wait, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Man, you sure are dense. You won't get it unless I explain it to you. Dense or not, it's impossible to find out about a hint or two. Well? Apparently, we're gonna hold a memorial for Mayu right now. Mayu! Mayu told me she wanted to take pictures and be jamming out on an instrument. And she also said she wanted to take pictures of Hyoko dancing. So we decided to do it all together here. I should call this the Memorial Jam Session. Ah, I see. So I had to take pictures of that. I guess it's a great idea. I'm sure Mahiru has got to be happy. Hey, hey. If you think so. You gotta accept the cameraman position, right? But that's a huge responsibility. Hey. Are you saying you don't want to do it because of that? No, I will. There's no way my picture will be as good as Mahiru's, but I'll take as many as I can. Yep. I'll be counting on you. I'll do my very best to play an instrument too. Huh, you too? At first I heard about the idea from Ibuki, and I was just planning to watch. But look, I found this in the storage room. Is that a triangle? Yep. Even I can do something like this, so it's okay if I participate. Right. Instead of watching, I can join you guys. I want to warm my room. No you don't need skill on the stage, just heart! Huh. Well, I guess it's okay. My ear's probably going to be happy about that. Understand? But if you suck, I'm going to make you stop, okay? How can you suck at the triangle? And so I finished our preps, and the memorial service of my hero began! Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> my eyes are crushed by the silent serenade! Even the tips of my fingers are crimson red! Crimson red, you say? That's a bit extreme. Oh, that's a bit cute. <laughs> it's so electric! It feels awesome! Chucky's just hitting that triangle with intensity. The combination is crazy, and even everyone's doing different things, but strangely it's harmonizing really well. Even though our places are different, or paces even, will we be able to make be like this in the future? Mayuru, can you hear this performance? Are you seeing Hyoko's dance? Not just Mayuru, Beko, Teru, Biafia, are you all watching? We'll never forget about you ever. And we will not waste your deaths, we will survive and get off this island. I finished my job without any problems and decided to go back to my college for the time being. That probably took up one instance of free time. But, you know, what did I do today? Here we go, free time! I feel like I should uh, complete Chiaki's Hope Fragments. 
before I lose the chance, if there is a, a, a chance anyway. Because I don't know. It could happen, it could not happen. We have four people that are dead. We, we It's just like someone somewhere is going to get knocked out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh no, okay, I was looking wrong. I was like, why is Chia, he's already X'd out? But no, it turns out to just be uh, someone else's. That, that was my heroes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Don't worry about me. Just an idiot. I had other stuff stuffs to give Chucky, didn't I? I have the toy camera, which can't be used anymore, sadly. We got the bar. Probably not. Tissues, bandage wraps. So we have Black Dragon Blade now. Proof that you clear Chapter 2. A memento of Peko Peko Yama, the highest quality bamboo sword. This ancient and horrible weapon has been passed down through each generation of Peko Yamas. Oh my. Uh, I have a feeling that I would like to go to the exit. And then, uh, uh, we'll check out the Yashi in a little bit, but we'll mainly get something from the, from the Rocket Punch Market. Because it's important, right? Important shit. This will be like the last thing we do, because we're getting up there on time. But hey. Check out this bullshit. Okay. Man, the frame rate. Let's not do anything about that right now. Yes, let's try purchasing something from this machine. Oh, by the way, before... Uh, I don't know if anyone's going to be interested, but you can also go to the main menu and pick up stuff like this from the main menu if you're interested. So, yeah. Oh, you know. I won't, well, I won't show you what each of the things are, so I guess... I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it would be for anyone. Uh, let's just buy one of these because it's a safe bet. Safe bet and shit. And then we'll go to the Yashi and put a couple pennies into there and see what we get out of it. Might be something cool, might be something not. Shoosh, 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 shoosh. There we go. Man, exciting times, right? Sure has been like a crazy few events that happened as of late. Oh, hi, Arcanay. How's it going? My try hand? The Yashin! Yes, give it a shot, please. Let's give it everything we shot. It's a, sh a machine! Oh, it's that thing. We'll just keep paying. A knife? Excuse me. I have no idea what that is. But I guess it's new. Sorry, what? <laughs> okay. We're, we're bringing that percentage up a lot, though. So, we, we've got a lot of stuff. Oh man, sunglasses. I'm getting really lucky with this. And because... Let's just put 10 coins in. Just to be sure. Okay. I, I guess that was a new thing, but, you know, we should probably get going at this point. And see the person that we need to see. The obvious contender. We know we have a minute left. We gotta run, run, go, Hajime, go. You have no, you have the place where you need to go and shit. You know exactly where you need to be. Hotel site. Run forward. More than the B button, I know. Then shoot to the side, and then shoot to the other side, and then go to the hotel like this, right here. Yes, yes, I know where I need to be. And then I go to the front lobby, like this lobby right here, and then look around and see that yes, the person I'm looking for is right here. And yes, we talked to Chucky. There we go. There are a bunch of laptops at the street store, but none of them had any games installed. But I should probably check one more time. I might have ever looked one. Play some epic solitaire, my pro. You wanna join me? Yeah, that's fine. I spent time today fishing through the laptops with Chiaki. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Give a present! Yes, I do like to give a present. And you know what present that's gonna be. Uh, we have a sweet bun bag. Passionate glasses. Tips and tricks. It's a safe bet. Isn't that a pretty rare item? This seems a little... I feel like I might raise the flag. Hey, hey. hey where do you want to go today? It's the first time seeing Chucky look so interested. And she's not even sleeping. Maybe she's looking forward to this. Let's see. Why don't you check out the storage room in the old building? Why find something interesting? Yep. Like Soccer Barn. That's a fun game to play. It's this old puzzle game where you have to push boxes at a warehouse to their assigned spots. Oh, I see. Let's go. And that's when I have a monomy so we can go inside the storage room. Which we did. Chucky pumped herself up and after winning over monomy, went to the storage room. We did it. 
Hmm, there's not a whole lot you can push and pull. I'll tell you a series about playing Circle in the storage room. No wonder she seems so excited about coming here. Hey, hey. hey Hajime, are you good at puzzle games? Eh, I'm not good at using my brain. I mean, I didn't even think about a flail. You think so? Huh, really? Maybe you just don't like them because you haven't played that many. Well? You know how to properly theorize in order to view things. You can kindly manage what's important. You have to be good at puzzle games once you got the hang of it. Huh? You really seem like that? Kind of embarrasses me. See? For example, Rubik's Cubes and Jigsaw Puzzles are puzzle games too. Oh yeah, I remember putting together a lot of Jigsaw Puzzles when I was little. See? Yep, yep. Then you already know the trick, right? The trick to get your Jigsaw Puzzles. You assemble from the outside. Yep. That's right. First you separate the pieces with edges. After which you separate the leftovers by color. It makes putting it together a lot easier. I see. Now I kind of feel like I put one of those together since it's been such a long time. Mm -hmm. That reminds me. My father always programmed puzzle games. Your father's a programmer? Yep. Yep, apparently he was pretty manly when he was focusing on the front of his laptop. Mm. But I heard he couldn't solve a puzzle he made and ready to press it. Since he hated losing, he actually went out of his way to write a separate program. And then he made the program do stuff like brute force to attack. Brute what? Mm. Um, that's why I forced to find the answer. No worries though, it's normal for you not to know. I don't really understand, but it seems like Chucky also knows about programming. But more importantly, what does that she say about her father sounds like hearsay? hearsay? Wouldn't that mean she didn't personally see it? Hey, hey. <sighs> we should get going and head back. Yeah, you're right. Huh? huh? What? Quickly, my arms are called Chucky. She fell into them. Are you okay? Uh, how embarrassing! I never tripped before in my life. And she said that she set the weight for my chest. My heart sounded really loud. Of course it does. It's my heart. Uh, that surprised me. You're pretty hard, Hajime. Huh? What? Uh, um, that is uh, mm. <laughs> like me. Your arms and chest are already built. You're definitely a boy. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, uh, that's obvious. Ugh. Tugs on collar. Like glad you caught me. That means I'll be fine in case of emergencies. Even if I suddenly get sleepy, I'll be fine. You can carry me. Hey, don't sleep! Hmm? Report card updated! Based on experience with her, we got more folk fragments and shit, bro! Yes! I desperately tried to keep Jack from putting in seat and walked her back to her room! Hooray! What now? Still bright outside! Hooray! We can stare in space, but it might be good to talk to everyone whenever I have the time. We are at the end of another episode of Mystery Mondays, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this series as much as it is, because I have liked it as, just as much just to do it. I know I did, like, have tons of spaces between recordings and all that, but man, I am so excited to continue playing this game, because it's just, it's just a lot of fun. So, in the next episode of Misery Mondays, we will do another free time and then, you know, see what happens. Maybe we'll take a look at the cinema again. Maybe we'll find out the reason that we have everything done today. Maybe we'll even see another murder. But I honestly don't know who it could be. Let's hope Fuhiko makes it out alright. And yeah, next episode. See you guys then. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.